MapStars actually started back in 1993. There was a group of work coordinators sitting around having coffee, and they had uh, just come from a DECA conference, and we don't have DECA alternative ed. And they said, we should have something like DECA for alternative education schools. And so they called a committee together. I wasn't at that first meeting when they had the thought, but they called me together, and then I, I came in, and Wally Campbell, and Dan Daly, Mark Wolhart, many wonderful people, Dave Hansen, we started the organization. And we spent a year planning what would we want this to look like, and we wanted it to be a broad-based vocational organization that would help prepare students for any place, any career they choose to go in, which is a pretty major uh, task to do. And we had uh, two camps. We had those that were in favor of the deck style competition, and we had those that were opposed to competition and kind of felt like everyone should get an award and just participate in that. And so we struggled with that, and we came up with some ideas, and then we had our first fall leadership conference. Actually, it was 93 was the first fall leadership conference, where we brought it together a group of students, I think there were 45 that came from different schools around the state, and we said, we'd like to start a youth group for you. What would you like? And here's some ideas we have. And then so we brainstormed, and we broke the kids up into small groups, and we have them talk about what they would like. And what we were looking for was a chance for our kids to demonstrate the wonderful things they do. A chance for our kids to get some recognition, a chance for our kids to build up leadership skills, to prove they can work well as a team and individually, and really prepare them for the workplace. So that's where it went, and over the years we've adapted events to fit the kids. So it's broad-based, it's vocational. We have events uh, like employment interview that could go anywhere, benefit anyone. We have the artistic performance events, which are non-competitive for those kids. They're excited, and it's really fun to have the bands come in, seeing kids reading their poetry on stage and getting applause for that. Something, their, their moment on the stage that they've never had. And uh, all different stuff, a lot of singers and that. And we have the art display for those that are interested in art. And the art display is put on display, uh, the artwork, and we have a little positive sheets, and kids get to write them positive notes and they go home with this big stack of positive notes about their artwork and it's critiqued by a professional artist and the kids just it hits you right there and then the competitions you know um, those are getting you ready and we have team advertising if you want to go into advertising and you're doing it as a team you can make a, a video commercial if you want if you're interested in that we've got decision making events where we really want to work on problem solving skills and their team or individual, so they can work on either. And we have those in parenting, which no one else has. But how are we getting our kids ready to be parents? Anyone can be a parent, it seems, if you're able to have a kid. But are we teaching them the skills of parenting? And that's important, too. And parent, being a parent is a profession, I think. So, uh, And then the management decision-making, that's a workplace problem. You face this scenario in the workplace, how would you handle it? And we really teach the kids good problem solving and to really weigh the pros and cons of solutions and really think about it. And then they're working on their presentation skills. And it's so fun to see them dress up and go into those judges. And many of these kids have never had a chance to do this before. And now it's their chance. And they feel so good when they come out. And our judges are super friendly, super positive. They make the feel, kids feel great. Public speaking, you give a speech, you know. And uh, at this conference, I have a student that has major anxiety disorder. Three years ago when she came to our school, she couldn't even handle sitting in a class with more than eight people. And here she is that right now in finals for public speaking. And I'm just so proud of her that she's been able to grow that far in three years. Um, the, the evaluation from the kids is super positive. Everyone in this organization is a volunteer. We all do it. We don't get any state or federal funding like other vocational groups. And we all work really hard for the kids, and the kids appreciate it, and they love it, and we never have any problems. The hotels love us. They say, this is the only youth group we've had where we don't have problems with kids. And they just love us, and they want us to come back all the time. Map Stars is about bringing out the best in the individual, give them a chance to shine, to um, go with where their expertise is, where they're passionate, and that's what we're all about. We, again, there's, there's other events, too. I'm only touching on the surface. But that's what is our goal for MapStars.